Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Rage video. Now, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are now on the homeward stretch for Arians, the human equation, where I'm highly anticipating the look, the uh, the anticipation of love. That if 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 if, if, if for no other reason, it's just to hear Heather's voice again, voicing love. If well, she has to be a prominent figure in this. She just, she just has to be. I, I hope anyway. Also because, yeah, it's like nearly eleven o'clock at night, and at first the prospect of me doing any more tonight sort of revolted me, to be honest. But this is something special. But so I think it's worth putting a little bit of love involved. So. If you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves, links will all be in the description down below. Let's begin. Love in three, two, one, and. this because this sounds something straight out of Disney I'm calling it for as I see it this is just made specifically to be in a Disney film <laughs> it's just it's exactly what I'd expect like all of those nice little love melodies you, you might see in I don't know li the little mermaid or something like that Struck with awe as I caught her eye I mustered up courage and walked away Figuring out what to do, what to say Her heart sings as she sees you come near The music fades, the crowd disappears She weeps in silence as you pass her by And she's wondering why Oh, why? Nothing 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Was Love by Heavy. That just you remember what I was saying earlier? That there is no other song that and and I've been and I'm a sort of person who's been listening to Epica Within Temptation and Nightwish for a good number of years now. Arian just the, they ha why exactly it, oh god it's and you know what first off i want to explain something that's actually a little bit different from what we've just witnessed is i'm kind of actually a little bit relieved in a way that they put uh, both agony fear and fear into this because there is always a feeling at the very back of your brain that almost seems to want want to say that this is not as good as you think it's going to be, or this is literally it. This is as good as it's ever going to get. But you know what? There isn't quite a lot of truth in that because, well, as, as long as you keep living in, in the belief that this is as good as it is ever going to get, then why even, why are you even here? Why would you try and think that, you know, there is no way that things could get better? So why? It's... There's multiple different ways in which love is interpreted as the, the Greeks had well over six different defini definitions of the word love. And yet what's become a little bit interesting as far as this song is concerned is that not only because I'm so glad to hear Heather Finley's voice again, it is, it is a, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, don't get me wrong, but it's the fact that in, in spite of everything, it tells the story of just the fact that, well, it, sh it displays basically how LeBreeze really turned himself around and he's not become consumed in agony of what his father did to him. He now sees that his actions will have consequence just like his father's did. And the only way that the vicious cycle can be stopped is if LeBreeze himself stops it. And as a result... He, he does not give in to fear or, temp or you know, agony. He gives in to love and realizes that he's going to do, he's going to follow pr his pride and his passion is now for his beautiful wife. And b it's good enough for Bovolio and Labrie to do a nice little, little duet sort of near the end. I think it was made specific. Has anybody actually ever... I don't know, turn the human equation into some sort of, like, movie or something like that, because this should be its own musical, or at least something on Broadway, because it's dramatic, it's powerful, it's captivating, as to just basically watching this guy play out the events in his mind, and where on earth this goes, or what purpose it serves, or maybe this is just Labrie's life, and well, is it particularly that special or is there anything significant that we should be learning from this? I mean, we're learning that he had a traumatic childhood. He was bullied and then he fought back at school. He made friends and had beautiful memories. And now he's grown up and he's started to sit with his wife. And judging by the next song, Trauma... I am only going to begin to suspect that things are only going to take a turn for the worse or something insidious is going to take place. Because like I said, there are about 20 or so songs on this album and we're already up to day 12. We are basically almost on the, we're basically on the homeward stretch right now. So maybe, who knows, maybe this is as good as the good times get and it all basically begins to wear itself down on our lead and goodness knows what is going to happen i'm going to make sure to come back and check in tomorrow with you guys because i want to find out just what happens <laughs> so anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this reaction video please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below let me know you guys thought of love by arian please also make sure to also like and subscribe to so get daily notifications when my videos come out. And I hope to love you guys again in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye for now.